so many New Yorkers will soon become Florida voters. This is an iconic city. It's actually our nation's most iconic mm -hmm. city. And it's not because of the beautiful architecture, and it's not because of the geography. It is because the sense of hustle that is so inherent to the people who come to New York to achieve their dreams. And increasingly, that hustle is being replaced with fear. Uh, uh, Mr. Holt, Councilman Holden, you and I are from different parties. If we talked about a thousand things, we'd probably disagree about a vast majority of them. But here's my simple question for you. Is fear a rising feature of life in New York, or is fear a declining feature of life in New York? It, it is um, increasingly worrisome what we're going through in New York City. Fear is an everyday event in New York City. Taking the subway, my wife is Asian American. She will not get on a New York City subway. My daughter will not get on a New York City subway for fear because many Asian Americans have been attacked. But Mr. Kessler says there's just a lot of people here in Manhattan. You just have to take it. You right. just have to understand that this is going to be a violent place. Which I found, I found that insulting. Uh, well, Mr. DiGiacomo, you're here as the voice of, of law enforcement in, in many ways. And since the days of Cain and Abel, there has constantly been a violent criminal element as some feature of American society. And the lives we all get to live are lashed to whether or not we put that violent criminal element in charge or whether or not we constrain it for the sake of people who want freedom. And so my question for you is, when the day one memo of Alvin Bragg changes the way resisting arrest is treated so people can resist arrest against law enforcement and not uh, actually face a consequence for that, what does that do to the enterprise of policing? Well, it makes the, uh, the officers and the detectives on the street their job that much harder. Uh, everything becomes confrontational or physical, and they put themselves, the police officers and detectives, are in harm's way. Well, now, we, we don't want to do that, but I have only, only a moment left.